stars, planets and the universe. A student of standard 3 is playing in the garden at 8 p.m. on a summer evening. Her 12-year-old brother Raghav is also playing with her. At night, there are so many stars in the sky. There is not a single star in the sky at daytime. Manju, you're wrong. There's a star in the sky at daytime also. How is it possible? I've never seen any star at daytime. It is big, bright and shiny. You just can't miss it. Oh, you mean the sun. But is the sun a star? Yes, the sun is a star. How can that be? The other stars look so small. That's because those stars are millions and millions of miles away. The sun is the nearest star to the earth. Is our earth also a star? No, it's a planet. Why is the sun called a star and the earth a planet? Every star is a huge ball of burning gases, giving off heat and light. Planets are round ball-shaped bodies, but they do not have any light of their own. They shine in the reflected light of the sun. Why do the other stars disappear during the day? No, they do not disappear. They are there in the sky even during the day. We cannot see them because of the bright light of the sun. This is what we see when we look at the night sky. Raghav did tell about the stars glittering in the sky. But there are many more types of bodies besides stars and planets. The sky is also called heaven and therefore all these bodies including the earth are called heavenly bodies or celestial bodies. The study of all natural objects or heavenly bodies in the universe is called astronomy. The scientists who study and conduct research in astronomy are called astronomers. An astronaut is a person who travels outside the Earth's atmosphere into the outer space in a spaceship or spacecraft to find out more about space. Astronaut is an American word. In Russia, they are known as cosmonauts. A star is an unimaginably large sphere like a ball of hot burning gases that gives out heat and light. Our sun is a star. Some stars in the universe are much bigger than the sun. They appear as very small points of light in the sky because they are very far from the earth. If we were to fly in a jet plane moving at a speed of 1000 kilometers per hour it would take us 17 years of non-stop flight to reach the Sun from the Earth. Stars, Planets and the Universe Galaxy 
A galaxy is a group of many stars. Our sun is a part of the Milky Way galaxy. Our galaxy is a spiral galaxy. Our galaxy looks like a band running across on a clear night sky when seen from an open ground. The universe may contain 100 billion galaxies. Constellations When seen from the Earth, there are certain groups of stars forming recognizable patterns or figures called constellations. If you look towards the north sky on a clear night, you can see seven stars making a pattern called the Big Dipper or Ursa Major, Latin Great Bear. This is also called the Saptarishi. The brightest star in the northern sky the Polaris or Dhruv Tara is a part of the constellation Ursa Minor, Latin Little Bear. Some other constellations are Leo, Orion and Centaurus. The Solar System a solar system comprises planets, satellites, dwarf planets or planetoids, asteroids, comets and meteors. The Milky Way galaxy contains our solar system. The Sun with all the heavenly bodies that revolve around it form the solar system. Eight planets, namely Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune revolve around the Sun. The Sun our closest star is about 150 million kilometers away. Planets Planets are heavenly bodies that revolve around a star. For example, Sun in their own particular path called the orbit. The orbit is elliptical or oval in shape. They do not have light of their own. We see them shining because they reflect the light of the star around which they revolve. Of the eight planets that revolve round the Sun, Mercury is the closest to the Sun. It is also the smallest planet of the solar system. Venus is the hottest planet as its atmosphere retains all the heat of the Sun. Next is the planet Earth which has water and an atmosphere which supports life. Mars, the red planet lies forth from the Sun. It gets its red color from the mineral iron that is present in abundance on its surface. Next four planets Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune comprise more of gaseous matter than solid rocks and are thus called the gas giants. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. 
Saturn is the second largest planet after Jupiter and has rings around it that are composed of ice, rocks and dust. Some of the rings can be seen from the Earth through a telescope. Uranus and Neptune are much smaller than the other two gas giants. Uranus is the third largest planet, approximately four times the size of the Earth. Neptune is the farthest from the Sun. Beyond Neptune lie the planetoids or dwarf planets. Satellites Satellites are the heavenly bodies that revolve around specific planets and not around the Sun independently. All the planets in the solar system other than Mercury and Venus have one or more satellites revolving around them. The Earth also has its own natural satellite, the Moon. Other heavenly bodies in the solar system, dwarf planets. In 2006, astronomers decided to place Pluto in a new category of objects because of its size. Beyond Neptune, Pluto and some others like Eris are small heavenly bodies that revolve around the Sun. These are called dwarf planets or planetoids. Asteroids Asteroids are tiny celestial bodies that revolve around the Sun. They are smaller in size than the dwarf planets. These are found orbiting between Mars and Jupiter, forming what is called an asteroid belt. Comets The small bodies made of frozen gases, rock and dust are called comets. When a comet passes close to the sun, the intense heat of the sun heats up the comet and gases are released. These gases form a tail that points in the direction away from the sun. The Halley's Comet is visible from the Earth every 75 to 76 years. It was last observed in 1986. Meteors Sometimes we see a burning object falling from the sky. These are called meteors. They are smaller parts of asteroids and comets that enter the Earth's atmosphere and burn. They are known as shooting stars. Sometimes meteors do not burn up completely and are called meteorites. These meteorites strike the surface of the earth creating craters. <laughs>